Hey y'all, um, yesterday I just read in one of these books that I had for like a year or two, I didn't read the whole thing apparently, it said that I was just reading the parts of the body that each sign rules, and um, it said that Aquarius not only rules the ankles, um, but the pineal gland, the mysterious third eye. Now, I don't know if they're just saying this to flatter Aquarians because we're entering the age, so they want to see us reach our highest potential. But even if we were in the age of Leo or Taurus, I mean, the age of Aquarius coming along right now means that we're going to have to really concentrate our third eye, potentially. I think it's just very interesting, the Aquarian age. Um, it's going to be a representation of what Aquarius rules. Uranus, change, revolution, and Saturn, discipline. That's why we're contradictory. We're so revolutionary and crazy. But at the same time, we, we want that discipline. You know, we're very stubborn in our beliefs. Um, well, we're stubborn because we're concentrated and very um, sure of ourselves. And you know, the, the Mayan Hunabku, that weird, mysterious, um, yin-yang-looking figure, um, it ties completely to their Sulkin calendar mathematics. A lot of people think was originated, you know, by the same yin-yang mentality. And there's this Olmec um, museum exhibit in Houston right now. You know, the Olmec heads look African or whatever. A lot of them look straight Asian. Not African, but the Asian big nose and African descent um, have, the, have the same uh, feature in that way. So anyway, I think the Mayan yin-yang, the Hunabku, and the Chinese yin-yang, and the fact that both of their um, holiest books happen to be a calendar that ends in 2012, you know, if McKenna is right and the I Ching time wave zero is real, the I Ching and the Mayans have to do with yin-yang in 2012 now. They're like back and forth, you know. And they both did mushrooms, by the way. And speaking of which, you know, rappers think they're all hard and shit, but yet they're not like hard enough to do shrooms or ayahuasca or DMT. Like at what point are true balls, you know, like facing your spiritual self and, you know, like Man Marilyn Manson said, if he did an acid trip this, like this day and age, he'd have like a nervous breakdown. Because when he did it once in high school, he just had all the negative things uh, that ever he ever did, just kind of he thought about the whole time on acid. So. so if you're a good person, you can have a good trip. But drugs are all about making you aware of your state. I just think that, you know, if you're really hard, then you'll have the balls to go to these states, not just ecstasy, party drugs, stupid shit. Real spiritual stuff is where um, true courage lies. Um, peace.